Understanding the Radiation Zone, a guide for English language learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, radiation zone. This phrase can be a bit technical, but we'll break it down in an easy to understand manner. So stick around to learn more. In this section, we'll define what a radiation zone is. A radiation zone refers to an area that is affected by or exposed to radiation. Radiation is a form of energy that travels through space and can come from various sources like the sun, medical equipment, or nuclear reactions. Understanding this phrase requires us to understand both radiation and zone as separate concepts first. Here, we'll explore different scenarios where the term radiation zone is relevant. It's commonly used in scientific, medical, and environmental contexts. For example, after a nuclear accident, the area around the accident site might be referred to as a radiation zone. It's crucial to know this phrase can imply danger or health risks. In this section, we'll discuss the importance of safety measures in radiation zones. We'll highlight how safety protocols are crucial and what measures are typically taken, such as wearing protective clothing or restricting access to these areas. This is important for understanding the serious implications of being in or near a radiation zone. This section will touch on how the phrase is used in movies, books, and media, often to create dramatic or suspenseful scenarios. While these representations can be exaggerated, they help in understanding the cultural perception of radiation zones. Here, we'll provide some practical examples and sentences to help learners understand how to use radiation zone in conversation or writing. We'll also discuss synonyms and related phrases to expand your vocabulary. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the phrase, radiation zone. We hope this video has been informative and helpful in enhancing your English vocabulary. Remember, learning a language is a journey, so keep practicing and stay curious. See you in our next video.